So the other day I was reading an article on astrophotography and this is kind of a nice article. It has some nice pictures and diagrams on the different uh, software and hardware that you might use if you are interested in this topic. However, one aspect of it in particular stood out to me where he goes on to talk about the different processes, how they can take uh, hours uh, even on a fast PC. And so he gives one example where he was building out his library of dark frames, uh, of which there are a hundred of them, and it took a full day to integrate them. So right then and there, I knew that clearly he is not using GPU acceleration. Uh, even with a hundred frames or even 500 frames, GPU acceleration can stack those images, it can integrate them in under 10 seconds. And so I thought I would go ahead and share an example of that. And hopefully others can see uh, just how beautiful the world of astrophotography can be when you use it in conjunction with GPU acceleration. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that example. Okay, so here is an example of 500 large images. They're each 4,700 by 3,200 pixels, five seconds in duration. Uh, total size is about 14 gigabytes, total exposure 41 minutes, total time of about one hour. So uh, image count, again, that's 500 exposures. And if I click on each one individually, you can see on the left we have the image viewer, uh, which I've not brought into full view just yet, but you can get an idea of what a single exposure looks like. Now, if we wanted to do so, uh, we could then proceed to create a stack. Uh, of these images and then that would tend to improve the presentation so if I, I select all images then that's 500 images and there it is so I've already stacked in fact I did a median stack of 500 frames and it took very little amount of time just a few seconds to uh, perform that stack and again this is with GPU acceleration and I can adjust the contrast and the intensity and so forth. So here I adjust the contrast. You can see the effect that that has in the presentation. Now I adjust the intensity. Uh, anyway, this is all a very basic process that you can do. Uh, and this shows a very nice uh, example. This is Comet Leonard, uh, also known as C2021A1. That's the provisional de designation. And so, uh, Again, I just think it's a wonderful example because these are not small images. Uh, these are fairly large. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can create an animation. So I'm going to bring the contrast all the way down so we can get the head of the comet there. And I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to create uh, a first marker. So I'm going to indicate the first position of this comet. Uh, again, because the comet has m motion. Now I go all the way to the very last exposure, create marker number two. Now the software knows the motion of this object and I can create a track from those markers. And again, this will take just a brief moment here. It's working with those 500 large images. So uh, now it has finished. And if I want to, uh, I can go ahead and uh, double click and verify this track. Now that I have to load star catalog first. So I'll go ahead and load up the star catalog. Now when I bring up the verify track, now I have the option of animating uh, these uh, substacks. So I can create uh, substacks from these 500 images. So you can start to see this animation here, and I can adjust that contrast a bit more and play around with the controls and make it look how I want it to look. So again, this is pretty cool because uh, this is almost in real time. You're able to manipulate this 14 gigabyte uh, size data set. And so uh, really you have to be able to use GPU acceleration in order for any of this to work on a practical scale. So uh, again, I just thought I would share this example. Uh, I, I think it's pretty cool that uh, we, we can actually make use of this technology. And so again, uh, I've developed Tyco primarily with the focus and emphasis on uh, the detection and measurement of asteroids, but it works well for general purpose astrophotography as well. 
uh, in, in this sort of uh, presentation. So here is a false color image. Uh, you can take a monochrome and present it in false color uh, in this aspect here. So that's what I'm doing in this example. And then, of course, you can go back to uh, regular uh, monochrome if you want to. So anyway, uh, I think that's a pretty cool example. Again, th there's no reason for uh, stacking or integration to take hours, certainly not a whole day uh, to integrate uh, what he mentioned was 100 frames. Uh, this is five times as many frames, and it, it takes uh, less than 10 seconds to do that. So again, here I'm showing what that signal looks like with just single exposures. So you can see how much nicer it looks when you are able to stack uh, the, these images. So of course everyone is, or at least most everyone is familiar with the uh, power of stacking. Uh, but again, sometimes it's pretty neat to see uh, just an example of how that looks. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.